You're looking at the Trailhead module for cyber hygiene. The principle of least privilege helps protect data. It says, don't give your users more power than they need. Looking in our org, we see one of our users, Vibov. He's assigned the admin profile, which has this permission called modify all data. Vibov's job doesn't require that level of permission. He hasn't done anything wrong, but having users with permissions they don't need makes a company more vulnerable. And it's not just profiles, permission sets can give extra powers too. Which raises the question, how many users have too much power? Salesforce Security Center helps you know exactly who has this permission and where it's coming from. But let's zoom out a bit. There's a lot more to Security Center. What if you want to know how many people have this permission and how that's changing over time? There's a chart for tracking that. And what's really cool, this isn't just for one org. If your company is running multiple orgs, Security Center can monitor your posture across all of your orgs just by authenticating to each one. And modified all data is just one of the permissions you can monitor here. There's many other permissions you'll want to keep tabs on. And it's not just for permissions. For example, here's a list of users who are frozen across all of your orgs. You might want to permanently deactivate them. Here's a summary of the health check score across all the orgs. Here's a list of managed packages, like things you might install from the App Exchange, and the versions and security review status for each package. Finally, here's the report on how users across the orgs are authenticating, so you can see how your single sign-on and multi-factor authentication adoption is going. Security Center gives you a single source of truth for security and audit, even across multiple orgs.